Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, March 4th, and this is Michigan Mornings from Ave Maria Radio and the Ave Maria Radio app. I'm Matthew Handley, hoping you had a great weekend. You want to want to hear this. Coming up, Peter Herbeck shares what happens to those who convert to Christ. But first, your local weather and this news. On Friday, Oakland County Circuit Court Judge Cheryl Matthews issued several rulings a week before James Crumbly stands trial in connection to the mass shooting his son carried out at Oxford High School in 2021. Matthews ruled that the shooter's text messages and journal will be admissible in court. The judge also ruled that confidential medical records would not be allowed. Prosecutors had petitioned to allow two students to testify, and Matthews will allow one student to testify. However, they may not share information on the emotional impact from the shooting. James Crumbly's trial begins tomorrow. Michigan Congresswomen Rashida Tlaib and Debbie Dingell are calling for a long-term ceasefire in Gaza after at least 104 people were killed last week as they were trying to get food from aid trucks. Here's Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib of Detroit. 53% of our residents in Michigan support a ceasefire. 74% of them are Michigan Democrats and 64% of them are independents. Rashida Tlaib helped lead a campaign to vote uncommitted in the state's Democratic presidential primary last week as a protest to President Biden's handling of the war. I've got a Michigan Mornings election update for you. Former President Donald Trump swept all of the delegates at the Michigan GOP convention in Grand Rapids on Saturday. Shelley Lake and Carter Huthman were delegates at the convention. I do have problems with his personality at times, but we need him. I didn't like the way that um, President Trump handled himself after the election loss last cycle. I generally agree with most of his policy positions, um, but I think that uh, some of his character was not what I would hope to see. Trump also won the Missouri and Idaho caucuses on Saturday. Nikki Haley had her first victory by picking up the District of Columbia's 19 delegates on Sunday. Owners of electric vehicles made by Ford Motor Company can now reserve a charging adapter, giving them access to the Tesla supercharging network nationwide. Owners of the Ford F-150 Lightning pickup and the Mustang Mach-E, who are part of the Blue Oval Charge Network, can reserve the device for free through June 30th online. They will be given out on a first-come, first-served basis to those with a Ford Pass account. Customers can also find the charging locations by using the smartphone app or the Charge Assist app from the vehicle's touchscreen. And Forbes is ranking Detroit as one of the top cities in the United States for bad drivers. The ranking was determined based on the number of car accidents per 100,000 residents, as well as the number of fatal car accidents involving a drunk driver, the number of fatal car accidents involving a distracted driver, and the number of fatal accidents involving speeding cars. The only cities that ranked worse were Albuquerque and Memphis. You're tuned into Michigan Mornings on Ave Maria Radio and streaming on the Ave Maria Radio app. Now this. Jesus Christ established one church with one set of beliefs, as stated in Ephesians 4, verse 5. He did not establish numerous churches with contradictory beliefs. To see which is the true church, we must look for the one that has an unbroken historical link to the church of the New Testament. John Henry Newman, in his 1844 book, An Essay on the Development of Christian Doctrine, traced Catholic beliefs backwards century by century to the New Testament times. He discovered a real continuity of beliefs, that the Catholic Church existed from day one of church history, that it is in fact the church established by Christ. Newman was not a Catholic when he started the book, but his research convinced him of the truth of the Catholic faith, and as the book was finished, he converted. Examining the truths of the Catholic faith, this is faithforensics.org. In the Motor City today, we will have cloudy skies with highs in the upper 60s. Tonight, there's a chance of showers and thunderstorms after midnight, lows in the lower 50s. Tomorrow, expect showers and a chance of thunderstorms, highs in the lower 60s. Wednesday will be cooler with mostly cloudy skies, highs in the lower 50s, and Thursday will be partly cloudy with highs around 50.
In the Saginaw Valley today, we will have cloudy skies with highs in the upper 60s. Tonight, there is a chance of showers and thunderstorms, particularly after midnight, with lows in the upper 40s. Tomorrow, expect showers with cooler temperatures. Highs will be in the mid-50s. Wednesday will be cloudy with highs in the upper 50s, and that continues into Thursday with cloudy skies and highs in the upper 40s. When people convert to Christ, what changes about their life? Peter Herbeck explains. The life I live, I live now, Paul says, reminding us, and this is our, our declaration as well. It should be in, a, in the heart of every disciple. The life I now live, I live by faith in the Son of God. Well, he died for me, and his life is in me. It's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. That transformation, this is what it means to become a disciple, not just to get cleaned up on the outside or get some things right. It is, I've literally entered into a new way of being. And that way of life that's lived by trust, by faith in the Lord is, number one, I believe Jesus Christ is Lord. I believe all that he did and said. He rose from the dead and he has saved me. He has saved me from sin and death, from being a slave to the world, the flesh, and the devil, to I'm now free from the claim of the power of sin and death over my life. He's done that for me. And I live in his kingdom presence in the church, in the world. I'm now part of the living body of Christ. I'm united literally to all those who've gone before me who died in the Lord. It's happening. I'm, I'm already connected to the eternal kingdom of God. And God has come to dwell in me as in a temple through the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord is present in me, and he now is working out my salvation, that I'm cooperating with him, and I'm becoming Christ-like in this life. So I believe that's what he's doing, and I trust it. That's faith. I'm going to lean into it every day, even when I don't feel it, even when I fall, and I'm not living in it the way I could You can listen to Fire on the Earth with Peter Herbeck weekdays at 6.30 a.m. and 11.45 a.m. on Ave Maria Radio. St. Basil the Great says, Boasting of God is perfect and complete when we take no pride in our own righteousness but acknowledge that we are utterly lacking in true righteousness and have been made righteous only by faith in Christ. Thanks for joining me on Michigan Mornings. I'm Matthew Handley. That's going to do it for this edition. So stay connected with me on X. I'm at Radio Handley. And stay connected to Ave Maria Radio on social media as well. Lord willing, I will be back tomorrow. And until then, goodbye. Goodbye.